All right, have you noticed that realtors in 2023 are becoming very close to where they were in 2021? I don't wanna use the word lazy, but I do wanna say that realtors now, they're getting multiple offers on properties and they're coming back. And even if they're getting 15, 20 offers with no counter offers at all. And the responses we're getting a lot of times are just, oh, well, the seller just decided to take this offer. Where a few years ago, before 2021, before you know 2020, the pandemic, they would get 15, 20 offers on a home and they would go ahead and they would counter offer almost everybody a lot of times. And it might just even be to say, hey, give us your best and final. And then you can have a discussion with them and see where you could go. But a lot of times now, what they're looking for on that first offer is your best and final because a lot of them have now gotten comfortable again to where it's easy. I don't want to say easy, but easier to list a house because now there's so much competition. Things are flying off the market on the first weekend again, and they don't have to do as much work. And it's, hey, great for them. Grab your percentage and move on is what's happening with a lot. And so if you're going to write an offer right now, obviously have your agent. If it's me, I'm reaching out to the listing agent, talking to them. Where do you think it's going to land? What do you think we need to do? What are the non-monetary uh, items that the seller wants that we can maybe put forward here? And then let's see if we can put the best offer forward because a lot of times now they're just going to look at the all the top offers. Like let's say they get 15 offers. They may just look at the top three and maybe just counter them and nobody else. And so you're done if you're not in that top three. So put your best offer forward that you feel that you want to pay for that house and just, you know, feel good about it that you're not going to leave anything on the table. Here's where we're at. Like I had a guy call me today, say, Hey, we got a listing coming up at like 1.7 million. Is that something your client would be interested in? Because you only offered one three on this last property. I was like, ah, that's kind of our levels one three. We can't go up to that. You know, we won't waste your time. You know, but if it's an offer, like, let's say you have a property for 900000 your client can go to 950 you might talk to them about it and say, hey, if you can go to 950 let's offer 950 or 940 or wherever you want to be to be comfortable with your payments, what's happening and buying this house because values are going up. Interest rates may be dropping a little bit here in May. Who knows? We're going to find out. But values are definitely moving up. We're seeing it right now in Southern California. So put your best foot forward. Don't miss out on a great property just because you know, you think you're going to get something back because right now realtors are not sending counter offers back. They're just going straight at it, grabbing the best offer and moving on. Okay. Something to think about. DM me, put your comments down below. I'd love to know what you think. Agent B here to help when you're ready. I'll see you.